be honest with you, uh, I, you know, I thought uh, our guys, what I felt during the game was that we sold ourselves short a little bit. Um, I felt like, you know, it, it was such a disparity the first time we played them that we got off to a good start and we weren't overwhelmed by the presence of their team in the way that we were the first time we played them. And I thought we accepted that, that there was a level of relief in the group that, that it isn't a, a drubbing. Like, all right, we could compete with these guys. And they were satisfied with the fact that we could compete with them. And then when we made a little bit of a run and had a chance at 11 points to get it to single digits, I don't think we were really playing to win at that point. Um, and so I, I was disappointed in that because these guys, they, you, you guys know, you've seen them, they stick together and keep fighting. They kept fighting in the game and played, showed some pride. But it was more about pride and, and sticking together and fighting than it was like playing to win. And, and we didn't quite do that. They shot 37% in the second half. We guarded them. Um, we didn't guard them well the first time we played them. Today, we got four consecutive stops within the first four minutes of the game. And, and, uh, and the ball was moving for us. We, you know, we, we, we only had uh, the first game, they had 21 offensive rebounds. And that led to 30 plus points. And, you know, tonight we gave up 10, but they didn't dominate the way they normally do, you know. So we did some things that we set out to do. And then we didn't try to go win it, right? But we needed to do those things to be in the fight. And once we were in it, we, we kind of accepted that. And then, so that's a little disappointing. I don't, I don't think that like, like I, you know, like they deserve the win to Wichita state game. They knew that we had to make some free throws or whatever to finish the game. But, but the fight was there and we, you know, we kind of let one slip away. You know, your pride always said, oh, we should have won a game. But that, that was a game that we, you know, we definitely were in a position to win the game that we let go. So we were playing to win. We were playing to win at East Carolina. I think it has a lot more to do with our initial experience with them and the respect that we have for them. Like that was, a, you know, we're coming off three out of four wins. We come home, we have this great win over Tulsa, and we get smashed on national TV. And I think during the game, we realized, like, we really can't play with these guys, you know. Um, and had we played like this the last game, we probably would have, you know, uh, wouldn't have came in with that mentality here. Yeah, I think it was something that happened in the game. I think because there's no question that the guys came out with the right mentality and they were competitive. We had a little pop, a little juice to start the game. We didn't get as much spark from our bench as as we would need, you know, just energy wise. Uh, Emery, Keon, those guys who come in and kind of spark us a little bit didn't as much tonight. Came in, fouled, gave up offensive rebounds, got beat off the dribble. Um, and so we were relying on the starters almost primarily throughout the game. And, and I think those guys got worn down a little bit. As it as compared to the last game, uh, I don't think so. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe they feel that way. I, I don't know. Did did Sam say something along those lines? I, I don't know. Um, I just think we we've gotten. Uh, I thought we got connected in Hawaii. I thought we got humbled at Houston, and we had to reconnect had to get off the canvas. And I think we've done that. Um, and then tonight was a game where we came out with the right mentality and they're a good team and they responded as a good team would. Number two team in the country, could maybe they're the best. And so they're going to make some shots if you give them an offensive rebound. If you, if you miss an assignment, they're going to make you pay. If you don't really guard, they're going to get to the basket. 
and they did what good teams do. And then our response wasn't at the level necessarily to, to beat a team like that. Yeah, this is a different group. I, I, I can't, you know, I, I got to say, you know, I, I've been around teams that win a lot more games than we're winning right now that I didn't enjoy. Um, but sometimes winning can disguise what's happening below the surface sometimes, right? Um, it's almost like offense. You make shots. You might be able to disguise some weaknesses of your team, right? And I think winning can do that sometimes. Sometimes you're winning, but the needle's not moving. And sometimes you're not, and the needle is moving in the right direction. And um, I think you can lose without being a loser. And I think that's what we have. We have a group that's trying to learn how to win together. Some guys who have been casting holes they've never had before, and we're trying to learn how to win. But I know 100% I'm going to come in there tomorrow and I'm going to enjoy being with these guys. Uh, and I know that on Saturday we're going to have another really good practice in preparation for Sunday. And I wouldn't totally blame them if they let human nature take over at this point in the year, but they haven't. And it and it's really it's really stretching me as a coach because I'm saying I'm enjoying this in a way that uh, I wouldn't expect. If you told me our record was going to be this, you know, like this is going to be miserable, but I'm not miserable. I'm not. I'm disappointed, but I'm not miserable, and I'm not discouraged because I know tomorrow they're going to come in with a great attitude, and I, I really that that really means a lot from a foundational standpoint. Yeah, he had, he had some, some, something that was ailing him, you know, mainly his defense. That was, that needed some, some treatment. Um, and and so I was a little bit frustrated with Jalen because I think Jalen can be a great defender. I think he'd be a great defender. I think those, are, those guys can be tremendous defenders with their size, length, and athleticism. And they had a real challenge on their hands tonight against some really good players. And uh, I just think we got to, you know, just an area where we just got to take that to another level. Yeah, you know what? I, it's funny because I, I coach the game and then I root for guys at the same time as we're going through this. You know what I mean? Like uh, I'm rooting for a guy to make a shot, not just because we need a three, but for his psyche. Uh, and and so in Sam's case, I'm, I'm, I'm like really pulling for Sam because uh, I because I know he's got so much more in him, and and I think he's hard on himself right now. And so I love the fact that, you know, he wasn't himself tonight because he's the one guy on the team that I feel the most comfortable leaving in for the longest stretch um, because he's got the greatest endurance, I think, uh, on the team. He can, he can play harder for longer stretches. And even tonight, it looked like he hit a little bit of a wall. And then in that, that stretch you're talking about, he had a little pop. And uh, it was good for us. And at the same time, I'm, I'm you know, in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm really happy to see him starting to get some traction because at some point he's going to get that that beautiful jump shot back and we're going to see, uh, you know, another level of guy. Well, it was, you know, Darius – Man, he's such a high character dude. We were looking for a spark there. You know, like I was saying, we didn't get a spark from our bench. Normally, Keon and Emery kind of bring like a, a, some immediate energy. Um, and Frank had been practicing so good the last couple of days that I felt like I had to give him an opportunity that, you know, he practiced like a grown man. It was going to be a grown man game. So I, I, I threw him in there and he did, he did some good stuff for us. Um, as far as the rotation itself, I think, you know, it's still kind of, you know, from game to game, 
who you turn to first uh, is is a lot of a, a byproduct of how the game is going. Sometimes, in general, it's based on the way guys have practiced, and uh, that's how it's gotten to where it is now. And tonight, uh, I, I wanted to give those guys an opportunity to give us a spark. And Darius gave us some good minutes, and and uh, you go through a year like this, and guys are sitting over there; they're not playing for games and weeks at a time. And then they keep coming in with this unbelievably good attitude, man. So I've never seen anything like it, to be honest with you. Um, and and so there's some times where I just say, hey, I'm going to throw them in there and see if they they can give us something, and they do. I think so. Um and I, I think it says it's also you know keeping guys engaged, and and because uh, they've been they've been so good, their attitude has been so great. So certainly, uh, you know, you want to keep your word. I'm just waiting for him to give me one turnover. And then, yeah, yeah. Well, we came back late in the game and took the lead, but they played harder than us. They started out the game more intense. It was my fault. That one was on me. Um, I was so disappointed in our effort in Tulane uh, that we got on a plane and practiced there, and I didn't care about their uh, conditioning, whether they were tired, whether someone got hurt. I mean, we had a really, really hard practice. What did we play them on a Sunday or a Saturday? That was a Saturday. So Thursday night at 7 p.m., we had a really rough practice. Um, and then on Friday, we had another one. And I didn't really care about the outcome of the game. I wanted to see a fight. And I got two days of a fight, and it hurt us in the game. But I, I wasn't concerned about that, to be honest with you. I was more concerned about the standard. And uh, and I don't I thought we operated a little bit below the standard uh, this last game, and we showed some fight in that in that uh, in that ECU game when we got our backs against the wall. But our backs were against the wall because they they played harder than us to start. And I, I do I take some of the blame for that. Well, I mean I'm proud of where we fought at the end. Uh, we came we started off the game pretty well, and then just the middle of the game we had a, just a rough stretch, um, guarding their stuff. Um, they didn't guard the ball well one-on-one. -on -one. Um, they exposed us and, and boss screen coverages and, um, you know, it made it, it made it really difficult for us to guard them tonight. You mentioned the spark tonight. Obviously, there's a presence down there. That wasn't the case. What was different in terms of either the uh, preparation during the week leading up to the game or even just the game-day routine? Um, I think to start, you know, we did a good job of keeping them off the offensive glass. You know, that's what they're known for. Um, I know in the first half, you know, we did a really good job keeping them off the offensive glass. Second half, we got a lot more than, than we wanted them to. Um, but I think that was key to, to getting a good start to the game. Uh, yeah, we definitely look back at the last one. Um, you know, you have to, you know, uh, to learn from some of the mistakes you made and look at some of the good things that um, that you did in that game and, and try to carry it over. Um, you know, we did some of that tonight, but um, not a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Um, I feel like there was a, a stretch in the game um, where I kind of became, um, I wasn't very assertive, um, you know, and I love facilitating the ball and finding my teammates and stuff, but um, I think there was a stretch in the game where I could have been more assertive and, and got some shots for myself and my teammates on drives. Uh, not necessarily. I just um, feel like there was a couple opportunities to make plays, and I, I try to make them uh, early. Um, but you know, we want a lot of our guys just, you know, to play aggressive and confident. And at times, I don't think uh, we did that tonight.
So can you repeat that? Um, cause we still believe, you know, we're still a connected group. Um, we still believe that we have a chance to make something happen in the, in the conference tournament. And, um, I think because of that, you know, you know, we fight for each other, you know, we fight for this coaching staff. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, we're all competitive. We want to win. So, uh, no matter what our record is, you know, every, every night we go out there, you know, we want to win. We're playing to win. Um, nothing major, just a couple of changes in, you know, Boston coverages. Uh, but credit to them, you know, they had, uh, obviously a really well coached team, one of the best coached teams in the country. Um, they have, you know, playmaking guards that, you know, uh, you know, made plays, you know, in the pick and roll. Um, they skip passes to shooters, hit their bigs for layups, and, uh, it made it difficult for us to guard at times. I do. I really do. And, uh, as I just alluded to, you know, we keep fighting. And if you keep fighting, you know, you're always going to put yourself in a chance um, you know, to win a basketball game. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, you know, personally, I feel like there's not a team in this in this league uh, that we can't beat, you know. So, um, you know, down the stretch, these last was the three or four games, and we just have to keep trying to trend upward, you know, so we're playing our best basketball come, you know, the beginning of, of March, heading into you know, Fort Worth and, and the American Conference Tournament. You know, we're going to have to win three or four games in a row, um, you know, to play in the tournament like, you know, like we want to. And um, you know, I'm excited for this last, you know, push. But we're, we're all still connected. You know, we're all still fighting. Uh, I mean, maybe a little bit, you know, it's it's not a huge difference, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, we're playing a, a really good team, whether it's at home or, or on the road, a team that just beat us, you know, we can have two weeks ago. So, um, you know, we're going to be looking to, you know, to get our revenge. And, you know, there's a few things that, that we didn't do well that game that we're going to be looking to do on Sunday.